Hello everybody, this is uh, General Yanis, and today in Death Car Tactics I'm going to be reviewing Typhus, uh, looking more into some examples of how he can be used, uh, so paying a bit tribute to the first captain of the Death Guard. So let's uh, get started. So today, the 27th of March, 2021, uh, waiting patiently for the battle report from my last week's uh, game uh, to, to be posted uh, from, um, from Scoot Linian and um, Battle Channel so I can share with you how the game went and my post-game thoughts. But in the meantime, I'm uh, focusing on reviewing Typhus, the first captain and basically the second in command or the second named character for the Death Guard. And a small parenthesis, uh, Typhus, the word, originates from the ancient Greek typhos or typhine, with the meaning of smoke or stupor originating from fever. And this is quite, I think this is quite very well fitting with Typhus with the smoke uh, <laughs> belching out of his, um, yeah, well, well, his horns here or the, yeah, the coming out, the smoke coming out of him and the contagions that he's spreading. Uh, so as he's now part of the combat patrol uh, box, uh, he should be widely available to new players and probably even people might have too many uh, Typhus models in their collection. And uh, if you have, of course, as a name character, you can't you can't use more than one. So if you have uh, several, maybe you could you could think of making some like a Death Shroud Terminator or making them a Lord of Contagion or something like this. But in this, uh, in this video, I will be looking at Typhus uh, stats and weapons, uh, looking at the Warlord traits, and looking at general considerations of synergies, uh, thinking about including Typhus and building lists around Typhus. And then I will be looking at the Poxwalker buffs he's bringing, and then some Typhus plays type of what, what, what some, some ideas of how to, yeah, how to use Typhus in the game. And I will finish with an example 2000 point list, uh, Typhus and Harbingers centered. So, uh, with no further ado, let's uh, get started. So, uh, let's look at the stats and abilities of Typhus. Um, Typhus is costing 165 points. He has a movement of 5 inches, weapon skill and ballistic skill of 2 plus. His strength 4, toughness 5, 6 wounds, 6 attacks, 9 leadership, a 2 plus save, and a 4 plus uh, invul save. And of course, he has disgusting resilience, uh, reducing the incoming damage by 1. He has the contagions of Nurgle, and he is able to do a teleport strike. And if we look at uh, his keywords, he has the infantry character, he has the psyker keyword, he's a psyker, and he, he doesn't have the play company keyword, he has automatically the harbingers uh, keyword. He's bubonic astartes, he's a terminator, he's a lord of the death card, chaos nurgle, heretic astartes, death card, and he's of course also a lord of contagion. Um, and um, the, and then on top of all this, he has the Lord of the Death Guard ability, which uh, says that six within six inches, uh, Death Guard core units reroll once to hit. He is also a vector of disease, uh, getting uh, plus three inches to his contagion range to a maximum of twelve inches, like a, a standard Lord of Contagion. He has the Master of the Dead aura, so Pox Walkers within six inches of Typhus. They get plus one to their strength when they are doing melee attacks. So this, this is quite uh, interesting. And then he ha he is the host of the destroyer hive. Yes, that's it's the destroyer hive. I guess that the smoke comes out of. Uh, and this um, now is an ability. Previous it was like a pistol, but now it's an ability. So in your command phase, uh, you select one enemy unit within six inches of Typhus. And then on a two plus, the enemy suffers D3 mortal wound. So now it's, it becomes like a mortal wound uh, ability. Additionally, he has the Herald of Nurgle. And this model, meaning that you can include Typhus in any uh, Death Guard detachment without preventing units in that detachment to carry a Plague Company Contagion. So you could add Typhus in a list of Inexorable or something like this, and they would still be counting as Inexorable or Ferryman or whatever else uh, it is. But Typhus can only carry a Plague Company Contagion if he is in a Harbinger's detachment, and he can only be your Warlord uh, if, he, if he is in a Harbinger detachment. As a Psyker, he knows uh, Smite and uh, two Psychic Powers from the Contagion Discipline, and he can cast uh, two powers and deny one power per turn. 
then of course with now with a terminus s that i cover uh, assault force a special detachment let's say he can he could also take the faster uh, discipline i i have uh, made the video with uh, uh, the terminus s uh, i will not look so much in the in the in the discipline in this uh, in this video then looking at his weapons he has the master crafted man reaper uh, so this weapon has two profiles the cleave profile uh, it's a melee weapon of course uh, the cleave profile uh, is uh, is a strength plus three so basically it becomes a strength seven weapon ap minus three and damage three so quite important to to strike at uh, tough uh, yeah opponents with with lots of wounds and terminators and gravis armor stuff and so on uh, it has minus one to hit though so he will be hitting on uh, three pluses with the cleave profile having six attacks here and then uh, he could he can also select the scythe profile uh, so this is uh, strength plus one ap minus one and damage one but he gets two hit rolls uh, per attack so it's a strength five let's say together and uh, basically he would be having um, uh, 12 attacks with his weapons additionally he also has blight grenades which is quite important to add a little bit of, of shooting and he could also use it for the blightening. I will come back to that a bit later. And then, uh, because uh, Typhus is a named character, uh, you cannot do any, you cannot change anything to his weapons. He cannot take relics. He cannot be given pathogens. And of course, you can only have maximum one Typhus uh, in the army. Let's say as a as a named character. So uh, looking quickly at the damage he can do with his. Uh, with his uh, master man reaper in um, in melee so uh, assuming now typhus is in melee with his six attacks and the opponent is suffering the minus one toughness contagion uh, with the blue we can see the damage he does uncorrected uh, with the cleave profile the strong let's say uh, three damage weapon and the scythe profile where he, where he gets multiple attacks uh, and we can see that for for basically he can he can do some quite good damage across uh, different targets. For example, here we see eradicators. He would be able to do eight eight wounds on average, killing let's say two models at least. Um, and and um, yeah, uh, also he can do some damage here against uh, tougher opponents and uh, tanks, etc. And uh, Basically, we can see the cleave profile, the blue line is, is doing more damage versus most targets. And the, the scythe profile with multiple attacks is basically only useful uh, if you are facing one wound targets here. You see, for example, if you're facing Tau warrior, Necron warriors here or guardsmen or cultists or yeah, one wound targets, uh, then choose the of course the the scythe uh, the scythe profile is better but otherwise the cleave profile seems to be the best option in, in melee so uh, typhus uh, warlord traits um to be the warlord if you want yeah if you want to give him a warlord trait and if you want him to be a warlord he needs to be in a harbinger detachment and then as a named character, you cannot choose freely his warlord trade, so he can only take the shamble rod, uh, warlord trade of the harbingers. So the shamble rod uh, says that non it's a contagion and non-vehicle enemies within contagion range of, of typhus at the start of the opponent's movement phase get one mortal wound on a four plus. On a six plus, it gets the three mortal wounds, and you subtract one uh, if it's a character unit. So basically, then. On, on a character on fives and sixes, you would be dealing one mortal wound. For other uh, enemies, non-vehicle, fours and fives give one mortal wound and six gives D3 mortal wound. So a nice aura to, to deal a little bit of extra damage. And if you take a Terminus Est Assault Force Special Army, he would also, if he's your warlord, he gets a Shamble Rod and the Harbingers of Death aura. Uh, which means that enemy models uh, with leadership of seven or less within three inches of, of Typhus, uh, the models cannot use objective secure or similar abilities. The models unit cannot perform any actions while within this, this three inches. And uh, Typhus would be getting plus one attack uh, to his combat, so he could be do, uh, doing more damage um, than I showed you uh, in the previous uh, graphs. Uh, so basically, yeah, if you have this uh, special force you you get two warlord trades for for typhus 
So uh, when considering building some lists around Typhus, uh, some general ideas. Uh, so Typhus is a, is a very strong melee character that can deep strike. Uh, and of course, deep striking gives him a combination or synergy with the Terminators, uh, or be it Blight Lord Terminators or Death Shroud Terminators. The Death Shroud uh, with a bodyguard ability could also be protecting Typhus uh, from, even if they make the charges and so on, maybe uh, after a round of fighting, if the opponent falls back, the Death Shroud could also protect uh, Typhus uh, from being shot, for example. Uh, Typhus is also a Psyker and can cast powers to protect himself. He can deal extra damage with Psychic powers or he can buff himself and units around him. And Typhus, uh, as a Lord of Contagion, has plus three inch to his Contagion range. So it's good, is a good way to spread the minus one toughness. And if he's, your, if he's the Warlord, the Harbinger Detachment, he additionally spreads mortal wounds as we saw in the previous uh, page. And here we can see the range of Contagion for Typhus in the different battle rounds. So uh, from battle round one, Typhus Contagion range would be four inches. Then in round two, it would be six inches and nine inches and then finish at 12 inches here. And if we use the, the Plague Wind, um, no, sorry, the, the Gift of Plagues, if we use the, the Gift of Plagues uh, Psychic Power, uh, on Typhus, already from turn one, he would have a 10 inch range uh, and then 12 inch range from rounds two and, and higher with, uh, with his psychic power. And with Flash Outbreak, he would be having six inch uh, contagion range in round, round one, etc. So he's, he's quite a good character to spread uh, contagions. He also, as we saw, buffs Poxwalker strength and uh, the Harbingers. Uh, Plague Company have already good synergies and stratagems for Poxwalkers, and then the Terminus Est Special Force uh, has even more uh, synergies and makes, for example, Poxwalkers faster, etc. And um, and his his special ability, the Destroyer Hive, and his Contagion, the Shamble Rot Warlord trait, are mo mortal wounds oriented. So, although Typhus is a strong all-round character that could fit. Uh, uh, could fit many lists and doesn't have to be in a special list to to work. Uh, I think for for many of of other play companies or, or normal lists, you you can get the Lord of Contagion. The standard Lord of Contagion can give you similar benefits, uh, costing only 120 points, and you can then choose contagions, traits, relics, etc. freely, and you can make a lot of contagion. In when I made the comparison of all the lords in a previous video, I can add the link here. But for example, some of the other non-named characters, they can be buffed more in melee damage than, than Typhus can do, even if Typhus is a strong character, let's say. But I think uh, if you consider uh, making a Typhus-oriented list, um, then it could be, yeah, it could be interesting to, to maximize on, 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 on the Harbingers using the benefits of the Poxwalkers, trying to work on the mortal wounds and, and the terminators, uh, adding terminators, deep striking to be able to take box walkers uh, in the list. So uh, looking at uh, what Typhus can do to buff box walkers. Uh, so we are looking at box walkers, what damage can they do in melee and with a minus one toughness aura in effect. Uh, so here we see uh, the baseline, 20 box walkers attacking. Uh, with strength three, that's their base strength. If Typhus is uh, close by, they get strength four, so we have the orange line, so they get a little bit, a little bit better damage. And if, uh, for example, Typhus can cast additionally putrescent vitality on them, uh, they become strength five, and then they can do the gray line even more damage. So Typhus can increase the Boxwalker's melee damage uh, passively with his plus one strength aura, bringing them to strength four but he can also buff them with his psychic power, putrescent vitality, making them basically strength five and toughness five. And here you see the, the average damage of this, um, of this uh, yeah, across all the targets. So if you have 20 pox walkers with strength three, they will be doing 3.6 wounds on average against all these targets. They would be brought up to five wounds on average uh, with strength four and five and a half wounds on average with strength five but regardless of Typhus, uh, the Poxwalker's melee damage can be greatly enhanced with the Mutant Strain uh, stratagem, which is uh, terribly good. 
So with this, uh, you are giving the enemy mortal wounds uh, on unmodified sixes to hit. And if you have 20 pox walkers, uh, you have two attacks each. You are, regardless of the strength, you have 40, uh, 40 dice uh, to, to get sixes, let's say. So this would be adding six and a half mortal wounds on top of the damage shown here, uh, regardless of the strength. Uh, on average for for the for 20 for a unit of 20 pox walkers but this stratagem the mutant strain um, gives um, will also make that uh, once to hit uh, the pox walkers themselves will take uh, mortal wounds um, uh, instead but the harbingers plague company they have a stratagem the wrathful dead uh, which allows the po one pox walker unit to reroll all to hit and this, uh, if we use both the mutant strain and the wrathful dead, uh, uh, then we would be able to add uh, uh, on average 10 mortal wounds to the damage with 20 poxwalkers, and the poxwalkers would only take three mortal wounds uh, on themselves, and they also have a six plus feel no pain. So this is, a, I mean, you could do really terrible, <laughs> terribly high damage if you can have a big, a big uh, unit of, of poxwalkers fighting anything basically in the game with this uh, Harbinger stratagem in combination with the Mutant Strain stratagem. So uh, let's look at some, let's say, Typhus plays or some Typhus, uh, let's say, some, some things we, we can do with a Typhus. Um, one thing com that comes to mind is uh, a deep strike and spreading the contagion to enemy units already from turn two. Uh, so uh, as Typhus can deep strike uh, from turn two, uh, in turn two, we saw his contagion range uh, was six inches. So uh, because he has to be nine inches away from the enemies, uh, then of course his six inch contagion here illustrated will not be able to um, to affect the enemies. But he can cast, cast, as I said, the gift of plagues on himself. And then his contagion uh, goes from six inches up to 12 inches illustrated here. And then he can put the enemies uh, that are, yeah, close to him where he could deep strike in, in minus one toughness contagion. If he's the warlord, they will also, um, they will also uh, be in the shamble rot uh, contagion for the next, uh, for, for the enemy's uh, next uh, movement. So, and, and the Terminus Est force has a stratagem to allow this uh, anyway, that you can increase your contagion rage. But uh, this can be especially nice, so here, for example, if he's deep striking with some Blight Lord Terminators, then the Blight Lord Terminators can shoot at any of these targets uh, that will now be suffering minus one toughness. So it could help their shooting here. Typhus would give them some rerolls. Uh, and then additionally, in the psychic phase, Typhus could be nicely combining this extra contagion with the Curse of the Leper um, psychic power. Uh, dealing mortal wounds on the closest visible enemy unit. So if this is a standard, let's say, toughness four enemy unit, being in the minus one toughness contagion, they only have toughness three. So the Curse of the Leper, with you have seven dice and you would do mortal wounds on four pluses, for example, in this thought example. So you can do some nasty combos here, spreading contagion, helping all our other units shooting in this bubble, and also with a nice synergy with Curse of the Leper. Uh, yes, and of course, Typhus, as we said, he has some auras and he has the, the contagion, the shamble rod to deal mortal wounds. Um, enemy enemy non-vehicle units would be getting mortal wounds if they are within his contagion in the start of their movement phase. So it's a good idea to engage Typhus uh, and then at the next, let's say, at the next, uh, when the enemy's turn uh, movement starts, they will be, we will be rolling to make war mortal wounds against any any enemies within his contagion, shamble rod contagion range. So if it's an infantry unit, we would be expecting 0.6 mortal wounds on average and characters would be having 0.3. And remember that shamble rod doesn't work on vehicles. If the enemy uh, is still within six inches of typhus, uh, after their turn, then in the start of our command phase, we can select a unit and uh, uh, give it d3 mortal wounds on a 2 plus this would be uh, dealing on average 1.7 mortal wounds uh, so this is a nice extra addition if the enemy is still uh, standing close to typhus and then uh, for example some some ideas here if if you have a typhus uh, 
pinned down by a numerous opponent, let's say trying to tarp it him or something like this, you can remember that you can he has grenades, so you can uh, use the blightening stratagem and then you can select Typhus, then he would be having a pistol six grenade, let's say to to auto hit in engagement range. So it could help him clear out uh, the enemies that are trying to block him, let's say. Uh, of course, if he's targeted against some weak infantry, then the scythe profile is useful in melee. And there are some stratagems in the fight phase to kill more numerous opponents. For example, befouled incubators for one command point, uh, which says that every time Typhus or the, war, the, the unit kills an enemy, the character kills an enemy unit, uh, you, on a three plus you can give mortal wounds, e uh, maximum three. So this can help clear out the horde. Also, you can you could use because he's a terminator. You could use the break their spirits stratagem for one command point, giving the enemy unit a minus four leadership, um, and then it, they might have trouble passing the morale, uh, freeing up Typhus to do something else. And regarding the Poxwalker buffs, uh, uh, there are let's say two two uh, options uh, spring to mind. So you can either walk Typhus up with with uh, Poxwalkers. Um, by doing so, he could potentially have psychic powers to protect them, like Miasma of Pestilence, minus one to hit, or Putrescent Vitality, vitality bringing their toughness up to five. Uh, the other idea is Deep Strike him, like in the previous examples with the Terminators, and have the Poxwalkers, uh, the horde of Poxwalkers advancing and coming up uh, to meet up, to link up with, with Typhus in the mid board, and then they can start doing more damage with his extra strength buffs. And then, of course, with the Terminus Est Assault Force, you have you have stratagems uh, making the Poxwalkers quite fast. So you get plus three move and you get seven inch move for all Poxwalkers. So those were some some ideas for a Typhus, let's say, <laughs> things to do with Typhus in, in the game and some suggestions. Uh, so here is a, um, a bit Typhus, Poxwalker, Harbingers oriented 2000 point list. So just uh, just an idea here. A battalion of, of Harbingers with uh, HQ choices uh, being Typhus, uh, being the Warlord, having the, the Shamble Rod, and here offensively he would be taking the Gift of Plagues, uh, uh, Psychic Power to increase his Contagion range, and together with the Curse of the Leper. And here we add a Malignant Plague Caster for 95 points with Miasma of Pestilence and Putrescent Vitality. And then the troops would be mainly Poxwalkers, three big groups here as an example, three big groups of Poxwalkers to be used offensively, maybe two small units of Poxwalkers to hold some backfield objectives, uh, spread some sickness or some secondaries. And then in the elites, to be able to take five units of Poxwalkers, we would need at least five five units of uh, of Terminators. And yeah, we could also take Plague Marines, but I think let's, let's do a Terminator Poxwalker list here. So in this case, uh, two two squads of five Blight Lords with flails, Blight Launcher, for example, axes. Maybe one. I didn't have enough. I I, I was lacking ten points. So one uh, five five man uh, Blight Lord Terminators with uh, with um, with a flail here saving ten points, and then two uh, two units of three Death Shroud. That can bodyguard Typhus, and they can do hugely huge damage in um, in in uh, in melee. And here, the Blight Lords, uh, they would be because the Poxwalkers and the Death Shroud, and we don't have so much shooting power. The Blight Lord Terminators are filling in the gap of of some adding some some more shooting to the to the list. And then, I think Taliman is an auto include to get more command points to use uh, more stratagems. And uh, my yeah, one of my favorite units, of course, Playbook Scrollers in the back. Here, two units to to add some uh, long range shooting. The mortar can can clear out some way for the Poxwalkers and uh, and Typhus. So in this in this uh, idea here, one in this list, one idea would be to deep strike Typhus with the Death Shroud, and maybe one two units of Blight Lord. Maybe use one, two units of Blight Lords walking up the board and add some shooting already from turn one. And then the Plague Caster would accompany the Poxwalkers uh, using the psychic powers here to increase their toughness to make them a bit tougher and minus one to hit. 
and the plate brush crawlers in the back for supporting fire. So of course you can modify this as, as you want, but this was one idea, um, one idea list uh, maximizing the number of pox walkers, terminators, and, and typhus. So uh, some summary and final thoughts. Uh, so Typhus is a strong overall unit. He's very good in melee. He has deep strike abilities. He has psychic, his psychic abilities. He can buff pox walkers and he's good at spreading the contagion. And he can also additionally uh, deal uh, some mortal wounds with his auras and abilities. As a named character, of course, he is, however, restricted from choosing uh, freely traits and relics and pathogens, etc., as a named characters that could buff him additionally. Uh, so I think, as I as I discussed here, I think probably the best synergy is to use him with the Harbingers detachment, utilizing Poxwalkers and Terminators, and for many other lists, uh, probably many times I think it's it, it would be better to use a Lord of Contagion, and then you can make him more. Uh, yeah, you can select what warlord traits you wanted to have and give some relics and make him more, um, yeah, as you want him while Typhus has a certain play. So uh, what do you think about uh, Typhus and uh, have you been using him uh, with the new codex? Uh, I know he Typhus was one of my favorite uh, units in the in the beginning or the end of the 8th and beginning of 9th and I was at the beginning end of 8th I was using him quite a lot with with box walkers so that was really fun and uh, yeah I haven't used him now with a new codex uh, so far but let's see uh, so leave some comments so what you think about typhus if you like this video please press like and subscribe to the channel where I will be bringing you more content of uh, death card and uh, also other armies going forward uh, if you want to support my efforts even more, please visit uh, patreon.com uh, General Yanis, my Patreon page. And uh, with these words, uh, General Yanis is signing out. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.